Hi guys, welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look at Facebook or Meta platforms. Before we begin, remember to take a second to give the video a like and subscribe to stay updated with the market. Do note that I do not provide any power or sell calls, but focus on potential traps set up by the market makers. Without further ado, let's take a look at Meta. So we can see that uh, Meta did have a good bounce just before your earnings uh, at about 169. You can see that this is the first wave down and the second wave is likely to hit around 170 zone and you touch 169 before it gap up to almost about $20. Went to a all time. I uh, went to a high of around uh, two two four before pulling back down to two hundred dollar levels. So as you can see, um, on the way up, um, from a low of uh, one sixty nine to a high of two thirty six, there's this resistance at uh seven eight point six percent. There is two two two, and we failed to clear it. Yes, we did clear it, but we did not clear convincingly. The second day we had a, a sell down. So that is not a good sign because there's no follow through. Furthermore, you can see that uh, it just went above the clouds. So the cloud act is a very, very strong resistance. And in fact, if you look closely, the cloud is somewhere between 220 to a high of all the way until 260. So this is cloud is extremely thick and you can expect a lot of resistance for this uh, particular um, price action. Similarly to the, um, the day it gap down after earnings day from 248, it went to a low of 185. You can see that once again, it hit this 78.6% at 234, touch a high of 236 at this level here. So it seems like Facebook always tends to hit this 78.6% before it pull back down once again. So similarly to here, 222 here, at this level, we hit a high of 224 thereafter we come back down. So it's likely for us to be uh, heading down once again, unless we are able to go back above these uh, 224 levels and thereafter go back to test this 236. So if this is the wave pattern down, similarly, this wave pattern might be um, uh, looking at around uh, support at around $160 psychological support level. So let's take a look at some of the potential supports coming in for Facebook. So you can see that uh, this 78.6% uh, at 212 did not hold. So the next support we're looking at is 203. So last Friday, we managed to just close at this uh, 203 levels at this 61.8%. And at the same time, if you look closely, there's this uh, rate baseline here. So this rate baseline is acting as a very good support for Facebook. And in the event that we break down, then I'm looking at this uh, blue conversion line here. So currently this rate um, Baseline is at 202.93, and this blue conversion line is at uh, 196.65. So, this two will act as a very strong um, support for Facebook unless there is a very strong gap down in the opening of the market later. If not, the next supports that Facebook will be um, looking at is about um, 196.65, followed by 38.2% uh, at $190 psychological level. In the event that we do break down, then we're likely to head back to 182. And as you can see, there's this gap here. At from a high of 181 all the way to a low of um, um, 192. So there's this uh, 10 to $11 gap that has yet to be closed for Facebook. In the event that we do uh, go back to these uh, 190 levels, then it's likely for us to go back higher. However, if we pull back down to 182 and these uh, bears are too strong and 182 were to break down, then it's likely for us to head back to these lows of 169. As of now, the chart is still um, downtrend and you can clearly see that this is the form of uh, higher high lower highs and higher lows you can see this is the high here this is the form of a lower high and at the same time this is another lower high from a high of 236 we dropped to a low of uh to high of 224 before uh, initially starting at 248 so now we are looking at uh, 185 so this is the uh, um, low here and we have created a lower low at 169 so the question now is whether or not we will retest back this 169 and will we create a new lower low in the event that the market sentiments will not improve uh, in the next in this coming week, then for sure we will be creating a lower low, unless we are able to go back up above this uh, uh two one two and two two four levels, then it's likely for us to head back to these two thirty six levels. So as of now, there's no much changes. Uh, key support levels to watch will be um two hundred dollars psychological level, one ninety six, one ninety, and one eighty two before we retest this back this uh one sixty nine, and hopefully we'll get double bottom rather than creating a new lower low. So if there's any changes, I'll give you guys an update. Thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe as you keep the up channel intact. Till we meet again, I appreciate the manipulation.